Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got an article here. I want to read it, and then uh, I want to get into it. Okay, here it is. Why did the United Why did the U.S. government recently publish three zero? Is it three hundred thousand? Three zero point zero 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 guillotines posted in entering tag zero guillotines. America's Defense Legal Christian Council on America Islamic Relations Federal Emergency FEMA guillotines. Well, I'll just skip this part here about Sharia law terrorism. Why did the U.S. government recently publish 30 women, 304 comments? Okay. Okay, I want to go to the bottom here. The U.S. Okay, the use of guillotines for governmental purposes was lobbied for and passed in the U.S. Congress. The information we received is that 15.000 are currently stored in Georgia and 15.00 in Matani. I don't know what Are the beheading by Muslims today meant to U.S against US government beheading in the future. Okay. This is Georgia House of Representatives nineteen ninety five. Okay, right here. Think about this. Why does the US government need three three zero point zero 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 guillotines and over 600 million rounds of hollow point bullets. There are over 800 per prison camps in the United States, all fully operate, operated and ready to receive prisoners. They are all staffed and even surrounded by full-time guards, but they are all the empty. These camps are to be operated by FEMA, Federal Emergency. Megan Mint agents should martial law need to be implanted in the United States and it would take is a presidential signature on a pro proclamation and the The camps all have world change. Okay. Okay, let me get into this. About the guillotines. <laughs> okay, so this is what I wanted to say. Because there's a rumor going around saying that Obama may step out of office. Okay, they're trying to people are trying to say that Hillary Clinton is going to become president because so many people hate Obama because of what he's doing. But I want to say this right here. I'm going to say it clear as can be. The people should not be mad at Obama. Okay. What they, who they should really be mad at are the puppet masters. They're people that are behind the scenes that are controlling Obama. Obama is just following orders from the ruling elite. He is following their agenda. They have an agenda to bring in a one world government. And this is exactly what he's doing. You can People can try to get rid of Obama and bring Hillary Clinton in as president should be doing the exact same thing that President Obama is doing. It doesn't matter who you put in office, they will be fulfilling the exact same agenda because they are following a common agenda. This is all that it has to do with is a world government because this is what these people are going for. But like I said before, it has nothing to do with Obama at all. It has to do with the puppet masters that are controlling them from behind the, the strings, behind the, behind the scenes. And by the way, before Obama came into office, Henry Kissinger trained him for such a time as this. He trained him for this time in history 
to create the New World Order. So I don't think Henry Kissinger trained Obama just to get him thrown out of the White House. No. I can't see it happening. But if it happens, I'm thinking about this as well. If Obama said that he's going to leave office, this is what I'm thinking here too. The reason, if he's leaving, I don't know. I'm just saying what I've heard. But if Obama's saying to the people that he's leaving and they're going to throw in another one, it's a bunch of bull. The reason why he's leaving is because they're planning an attack on America to take America completely down. Because it's America is the only thing that is hindering them from having a one world government. That's all that it is. So why do you think they have all these guillotines? Why do you think they've passed bills to bring in uh, FEMA caps? Why do you think they've created all these rubber uh, FEMA coffins? Because they know something's coming. Why do you think the Department of Homeland Security has ordered more ammo, more admission, they have these new uh, military uh, vehicles, and they say it's for your own security, when it's not, it's about total control. Because Obama is transforming the United States of America into a larger version of North Korea. These guillotines are for the New World Order resistors. They're getting everything ready for the Great Tribulation that these things will be used. It's literally amazing, according to what the Bible says. I saw the souls of those that were beheaded. They're not going to use the gas chamber. They're not going to hang people. They're going to use the guillotine. It's more cheaper, and that's exactly what the Bible says would happen. So that's what I wanted to say. I can't see Obama leaving office. Like people are saying, oh, we're going to vote Hillary Clinton in. She would make a good president. Well, guess what? No, she wouldn't. It doesn't matter who you have in there. They have to follow orders or they're going to be killed. Just like John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy blew it in the open. He said, we want to get rid of secret societies. He wanted to abolish the Federal Reserve and all that other stuff. And shortly after his speech, he was shot and he was killed by the Illuminati. Okay? They try to say that Oswell was responsible for it, but I don't think he was. It was someone else that was laid there, that was put there. And uh, the, the tracing of the phone calls that went back and went to uh, Bush, President Bush. These, these, these people don't care. They, they even said it in their own documents. We're going to have a new world order even if we have to pay for it in blood. Okay, so this is all I wanted to sh tell you guys about this. You have to put it all together, like the tracking, the monitoring, uh, all these surveillance systems, and now they have the guillotine because they know that they are going after the people's guns and people are going to retaliate. So what are they going to do with these people? Obama, does, there does not even have to be uh, a crisis for Obama to install martial law. It says he can install martial law even in a time of peace just by the stroke of a pen. And that's what he's going to take the people. They have red lists, they have blue lists of the people that they're going to go after. And uh, this is what their plan is. That's where they're going to take the people. And then, and by the way, there was another guy because he was in the military in the United States and uh, he found out some information he was talking to his friend. He's like, why are you telling me all this? Isn't this declassified information, like secret information that you're not supposed to share? But he said, I, I'm pretty sure you need to hear about this. But he said, it's a YouTube video and uh, YouTube, the United States government is hiding a dirty secret or something like that. But down in the basement in the United States is full of guillotines, okay? You're not allowed to bring your camera or phones down there. But not just in the United States, in Europe, Germany, all over the place. They're, they're getting ready for the global takeover. So once this guy heard about this, he said, he, he even talked to his sister, because him and his sister are Christians. He said, no way, we are not going along with this new world order martial law agenda plan. This is their agenda plan. It's for new world order resistors. People that are against their agenda, that's what they're going to do to them. They're going to kill them, like it said in, the, in their own documents. 
we're going to have a new world order even if we have to pay for it in blood. That's by the, the Council on Foreign Relations. And these people have a, a military, a powerful military that's backing them up. They're transforming uh, the United States Army into UN troops. But they're going to have to follow their laws and they're going to have to do what they say or they're going to become a threat and things will happen. So I just wanted to let you guys be aware of this. This is what's going on. They bring in a new world order. Like it's already in the open. They don't care anymore. They really they don't care because these people have advanced so much that it doesn't bug them anymore because they're so close to getting their global totalitarian system running. They don't care. So it's in the open. So this is what the, these are what these guillotines are for, are people that are against their new world order, and that's where they're going to kill them. And they probably have these guillotines in the, in the FEMA camps. They're getting everything ready for the takeover. Where they're going to put the whole entire city on lockdown or whatever's going to happen. They're going to start lining people up, and that's what's going to happen. That's why you can't believe a word that Obama says. He's a liar. I was just listening to a video that we have not been listening to people's conversations, blah, blah, blah. He's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a manipulator. He's a deceiver. He cannot be trusted. And he was sworn in by the elites because they had a meeting back in 2008 at the Bilderberg meeting in Les Virginia, uh, yeah, Les Virginia. And guess who was present at the meeting? President Obama. Well, he was Obama because he wasn't president yet. Obama was present. And Hillary Clinton. And guess who became president that year? So coincidentally, Obama became president and Hillary Clinton became Secretary of State or whatever she is. That was not a coincidence. These people are elected beforehand, not by the people, but by the elite. Obama is their superman to bring in the New World Order. Okay? Because even Henry Kissinger said, we have elected Obama at this time in history to create the New World Order. That we must forge ahead or retreat to chaos. And that's the only way that we can have a New World Order. We have to unite the world. He said, we're, we need a New World Order or else we're going to live in chaos for the rest of our lives. So the only way for us to, to protect the world from any future attack or whatever is if we elect an all-powerful world government. National governments have to go. Nation states have to end. If the nations will be a part of history, nations must come to an end. You say what well, it was a bad idea for national sovereignty in the first place. It wasn't good. So we all must come together. The nations that think they can stand alone is a lie. The nation state is dead. We must all come together as one. One body, one people, one nation. Whatever we believe, we can achieve if we just believe. And that's what they're doing. Think about it. We have all, we're all one. We have one single dictator ruling over the whole world. There's no more war because we're all one. We're no longer divided. It's impossible to go to war because we're all one. And we have one leader. That's in control of absolutely everything. And that's exactly what they're talking about. They want, to con they want to control over every aspect of every single thing on the planet. Even the United Nations at the last uh, meeting, G20 Summit, they were calling for a financial dictatorship where a single person is in control of the money. A one world monetary leader. That's what they want is a one world monetary system. You name it, a new international order, which is a new world order. They said by 2017 we'll be in a huge, powerful, universal database. A huge computer. And that's when they want everybody to have a, a chip in them. A microchip. But I don't believe it's going to be a microchip. I believe, I, the way technology is advancing now, it, it's going to be an electronic tattoo or biometric or laser mark. Which is going to be the mark of the beast. But before they get into that, Everybody's going to have their own Pacific National ID card, which must be resisted. If this comes to you, you must resist this. And um, this is all I got to say. So I'm going to let you guys go from here. And this is all I got to say. And uh, God bless you all.